Hi, I'm Chris Pettigo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate AWS and Lacework together. To get started, you're going to need an AWS administrator account, you're going to need a Lacework account, and you're going to need to have logged into that Lacework account. So once you log in, you'll be greeted with this page. From here, you can go ahead and click Get Started. On the Get Started page, you're presented with users. I have perfect faith in your ability to generate your own users. So from here, you click Next, and this is where you are greeted with the first AWS integration step. So to get started, click Run CloudFormation Template, and it's gonna open up AWS. Make sure you're on the right account, so if you have multiple accounts, double check. Then click Next. And here's the details. We're gonna have to enter a couple things here. So I like to start by changing the stack name to something that will always remind me what it is that I'm integrating. Facebook integration. The next thing is the resource name prefix. Now, if you don't already have CloudTrail enabled, this is going to generate a CloudTrail bucket with this name. So if you've used S3 before, you know that it's globally unique. So what I like to do to ensure uniqueness is start by um, typing some random characters. And then a dash. Then the name of the account that, will, that you'll remember. So this is the sales account. And then if it's prod or dev. Then from here, you have an external ID. And the external ID is used for assumed roles. It makes sure our privileges are locked in and don't allow us to jump into other accounts. And then the final thing is if you want to either create a new cloud trail or use an existing cloud trail. If you want to create a new cloud trail, we're done. All we have to do is click Next and go about our business. If we want to do an existing cloud trail, then we'll click no, and you'll need to enter a little bit more information. So the first is the bucket name. So to do this, you go to services, cloud trail. I'm gonna open it in a new tab. And over here, you'd click trails. And here's the list of all the cloud trails you have. Now we need to make sure that it is enabled for all regions. So go ahead and click this and you'll see apply trail to all regions. That's good. The next thing we want to check is read write events is also set to all. That means we're going to review everything. Then now down here, we're going to need to make sure that it's being, that writes are published to a specific SNS key. So on the storage location, go ahead and click edit and then send SNS notification for every log delivery. This should be yes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new SNS topic. I would recommend you do the same since this will be one that Lacework will be able to consume. So for the SNS topic, I'm going to call it Lacework Sales Demo. Then I'm gonna click Save. And now we're good to go. So I'm gonna start by copying the S3 bucket, and then I'm gonna fill in the bucket name here. And the next piece I'm going to do is I'm gonna need this topic ARN. So to get that, we have to go to SNS and open it up. So once you get to the SNS dashboard, you go to topics and the ARN will be presented for you right there. Now, once that's done, you can click next. And then you're presented with a follow-up page. This is where you could add key value pairs. Since we're not generating resources that are useful for this, I usually skip it. And you click next again, and here's the summary of what's going to happen. You click I acknowledge, and then click create. And you can watch your progress by hitting the refresh button. This will take two to three minutes, and then once that's done, the status will go to complete. And then over here, the Lacework integration will show the account that you've actually integrated. Thank you for your time.